This is like how the brain dies. We came to this idea that really these vascular changes are coming really first. My name is Berislav Zlokovic. Well, I'm director of this institute, of the director of the Zilke Neurogenetic Institute. My strong belief is that uh, brain health depends on its vascular system. Delivery of blood deliver, that brings oxygen, that brings nutrients, you know, to, to brain and, and also clears toxins. We're looking at the interfaces of the blood to the brain which is the blood-brain barrier. So there's leaks here, there's leaks that come in here. Well, I like to define the vascular system and especially the barrier uh, that is like a, we call blood-brain barrier. This is the vessel wall barrier, like uh, what the ozone layer is for the planet Earth. If part of this 400 miles gets in a bad shape in an important region of the brain, you can imagine consequences. And that's what I believe is happening in diseases like Alzheimer's. You can see how much vasculature there is. So you imagine a whole brain full of this. Things like amyloid are actually produced normally in your body. The blood-brain barrier helps shuttle this stuff out of the brain into the bloodstream so that it can be uh, removed from the body. So when the blood-brain barrier starts to break down, when vessels stop working as well as they should be, that's when we see more accumulation of these toxic products in the brain, like amyloid, which can contribute to Alzheimer's disease. So APOE4 is a, like an elephant in the room, it is the strongest genetic risk factor in, uh, for Alzheimer's. It's 100 times more powerful to produce than other, other factors. My name is Abhay Sagare, and I'm assistant director of the Biomarker Core here at USC. Uh, the Biomarker Core receives biofluid uh, samples. We process them here in the lab. Uh, we isolate DNA from blood sample. So we can identify if the person is carrier or non-carrier of APOE4 gene. Individuals who are carriers for E4 have broken blood-brain barrier in te medial temporal lobe, which include hippocampus center, and that progresses, that's happened even before clinical decline, and progresses with clinical decline. Our research suggests that injury to vascular cells such as pericytes contributes to disease progression in uh, participants who are carrying APOE4 risk gene. We find that marker for uh, injury to um, pericytes, that can predict future cognitive decline in APOE4 carriers. This is an independent biomarker of human cognitive dysfunction that actually gets elevated in your cerebrospinal fluid when you have injury of the vessels because the pericytes are injured and they release this uh, biomarker. By imaging techniques you can see uh, region-specific injury and by biofluid biomarkers you can identify uh, the extent of uh, blood brain barrier leakage. Hey, well you have this blood brain barrier problem then what to do is how are we going to seal the vessel? This is now the, the next stage, and we're working with the drug that I happened to develop with this enzyme called activated protein C. This APC uh, actually seals the vessels. It also uh, prevents amyloid production. This and so we believe that this approach has a promise for Alzheimer's. My name is Allison Bosworth. I'm a postdoctoral researcher. I work with human-induced pluripotent stem cells. Um, it's a way we can model the human blood-brain barrier in the lab. If we have access to a patient that has a genetic predisposition to Alzheimer's, we can take um, skin cells from that patient, differentiate them, and then study them in the lab. Um, and this is a really valuable technology for studying human disease. Every project that I do excites me you know, in a different way. I don't think that 
Treatment for Alzheimer's disease is a silver bullet. It's not just one thing. I definitely think that there will be new targets in the vascular system that will be identified that we can act on. If you are able to arrest or slow down, that's a big deal. Even two, three years, four years, five years extending life, it's, it's an amazing thing for everybody, for patients and for families.